animals as much as I do, you'll be very pleased to know there are excellent scientific reasons why you should spend all day blowing bubbles. For example, have you ever wondered why bubbles form perfect spheres? There's actually two answers to this. One is about energy. It takes less energy to form a spherical shape. There's no sharp corners with lots of stress. The other is about symmetry. Bubbles don't know which way is up or down, so they should look the same from every angle. The only way to do that is with a sphere. Turns out using energy and symmetry, you can explain an awful lot about the physics of the universe. But I digress. For today, I want to show you how you can make a square bubble, or a cube in fact. You're going to need a few things. First of all, I have to make a frame. For that, I'm going to use some pipe cleaners and I'm going to cut up some pieces of drinking straw into... Lost one. I'm going to cut up some drinking straw into equal lengths. Thread it onto my pipe cleaner, like so. And then I can twist this together to make a cube. I have one I made earlier. Looks like this. A wonderful cubic frame with kind of cubic symmetry. Next up, I need some bubble mixture. Now you can of course buy it, or mixing up about a quarter a cup of detergent in about half a bucket of water works pretty well. Although a great science project would be to experiment with the best bubble mixture, the best detergent, the best ratios and everything. Something to try. Finally, you need a bubble wand. I am going to use a pipette and I'm just going to cut the top off my pipette, like so. Now I'm ready to assemble. I'm gonna take my frame dip it into the bubble mixture. You can already see a square starting to form in the centre. Now I need one more bubble, so I'm going to use my bubble wand. There we go. So I just blew one more extra bubble in the centre. And now you can see I actually have a cubic bubble. This takes a bit of practice and, you know, you're not going to get it every time. You can actually inflate this bubble by blowing in, make it bigger. And you can see it has a cubic symmetry because it's in a cubic shape. It has to be square. But you'll also notice that the edges aren't perfectly straight. That's because rounded edges require less energy. So this, to me, is a really interesting experiment and lots of scientists have done lots of research on how bubbles form and why they form the shapes. Lots of great mathematics too. This is something you might want to experiment with at home and you can try out different frames, different shapes, see what you can come up with. Of course, if you want to see this experiment again, head to our website, lots more great hands-on science there. And of course, keep experimenting at home. Hit us up on social media with what you find. Keep blowing bubbles. See you next time.